I'm actually coming back to the club on my own time. Another serial murderer sounding title. Maybe these are like headlines that the press comes up with. Oh no, another dead woman. Ah! Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Hmm, another dead woman. Drink. This time, though, it seemed you a little bit different, because that lady, it seemed like she was parking, and then cop. someone randomly came up to her, as Seems opposed like to the guy. lady being kidnapped and then you killed. Talk is cheap. So was that person just in the wrong place at the wrong time, this or were they actually targeting this thing. specific lady? We don't know yet. That car? Okay. I'm driving. Alright. Let's go. You need to turn left at the next junction. Okay. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. We might get along after all. Oh, well, hey, sounds like we're doing better already. Our relationship. Is it above us? Oh, it might be. Wait, that's really... Isn't that the same location as last time? It's really... Uh, how do we... boy, up there you go right now. If you say so. Um. <laughs> Maybe we're making a big long loop. So anyway. Wait for the next turning and go right. Okay, at the next corner, go right. All right. Feel like we can. Oh, it's right here. This feels like the same location as last time, doesn't it? Really similar. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Mendes. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that So you matter. don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the City of Angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. This is getting more and more important now because the captain himself is on site. That's something that's never happened before so far. I was wondering... I was first on scene. I was wondering why he wasn't there to give us the case. 
at the station. So hey, what's going on over there? You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. A family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. At least it's not naked this time, right? All these cars. Hmm. It seemed like she I died right away, so hopefully it wasn't like uh, a sexual violence crime. Because that always feels extra brutal. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Okay. We're a rebel. We go through the line. There she is. Oh, are you kidding me? Another one! It's also naked! Shoot! The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hmm... In actual investigations like this, I think they probably withhold some information so that they can identify who's a copycat and who's not. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R&I? Back in a second. Deirdre Muller. A teacher? A parent? Well, it's not a robbery. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? Because it's not a robbery. But it looked random though from what we saw. Like that guy just randomly came up to her. But maybe he was waiting for her in the bushes the whole time or something. Who knows? Victim of white female Jane Doe on Hill Street. White female Jane Doe. Oh, is that when they can't say the name? Hmm? Oh. Disappointing. Maybe if no. Yeah. This location seems pretty similar. It's like the same park? Okay, I think we're we're good now. Oh. Oh my god, look at the textures on the this ground. Is what we're <laughs> it's like a different era. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the oh. footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? Eight. You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Do you mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. So this lady died from strangulation. That's something that didn't happen before, so this is probably a copycat then. Ugh. Oh my god. Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. Rope. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. It's a very thick rope. Ah. Oh. Uh, like she was stomped on after they took off her clothes. Ring finger? Again? What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Is it possible that Mendez actually wasn't the killer for the last case? Because we ended off with some doubts, and now I feel like we're kind of coming back to what those doubts are about. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too. I think her watch might have been torn off. What? Missing jewelry. Oh, there is a sound. There is a sound. So there's no text on her though, but there's a lot of stomping marks. Yeah, I mean, there's not too much to... Detective. R&I says a Deirdre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. Could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Rusty's been doing this for a long time. Can't, can't blame him for... Well, I understand where he's coming from, too, because if your job 
your job that you go to every Monday to Friday, every 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can't really afford to get emotionally attached about that sort of frequency of exposure. This is awful. Hey, what's going on over there? Just awful. How bad is we get any closer? Who are these people? Come on, you can tell. Clear this area immediately. They're not leaving. I'll take your car if you don't leave. I feel like it's a different guy though, just based off looking at it. Yeah, strangling. Oh, but the ring finger, that's a similarity. Maybe they want us to think it's a copycat, but it's not. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> is that getting a bit Fine. too... Where are we headed? Reverse psychology-ish. There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If he doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? No, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagine. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. Oh! <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. You know what they say, Rusty? If there's shit everywhere you go, then maybe it's something, something under your shoes. <laughs> the husband's place? Or actually, they're married, so it's both of their places. As usual, we gotta do the whole stalker routine. Oh! <gasps> no! Does she have kids? No! Where's the dad? Hmm. Newspaper? Nope. Wow, everyone has really big yards. Barbecue thing going on. Okay. Oh. There's a kid again. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? Oh no. We got to break. Well, he's not going to do it. We're going to have a look around. He's not going to break the news. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. I don't think so. Don't forget. Mom's Oh, mom's birthday on the 16th. No. My partner will explain everything when he gets back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. This is not done. Get out of here. Wait, someone left in the middle of making food? Nope. Isn't that kind of weird? Because the girl was reading. She wasn't cooking. Huh. This little girl, though. <laughs> Good thing we're actually the police, but if someone else came into the house and was like, hey, we're the police, let us in. That would be so bad for her. This must be the kid's room. Oh, no. Violin. Musical. Oh. Doesn't tell me anything. Come on, open it! <laughs> Why don't you ever open it? That's it. There's a really noisy clock in this room, though. Alright. 
parents' room? Ooh. Ooh. Small? Oh! Work boots. Size eight. Earlier, they didn't get an exact number for me yet. They just said small. Is eight small? Oh my god, it might be actually... Oh, I don't know anymore. <gasps> like, so far, we've had completely independent cases, so it would actually be really cool if we had multiple cases with the same killer. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Hmm. Alright. Wedding ring? No sign of a wedding ring. Well, because usually these things, you would be wearing them. So yeah, it makes sense that the boxes are empty. There is a... there is a music. That's it. Oh, I really don't want to be the one to break the news. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but... Your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Hmm, 15. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Hmm. -mm. I don't know if that's like a worried little side glance or what. Oh, what the heck, 95.9? That's not super low, but not super high either. Okay, she said, Daddy came to pick her up instead. Is that what Daddy told you to say? So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Dad has size 8 shoes, too, so this is kind of not looking very good. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Yeah, when you're 15, you don't... Hmm? <laughs> you don't necessarily care about that sort of thing yet. She's, yeah, she's doing that thing again, but then, like, is it... 99.3 uh, We're close to having full intuition points though. Maybe we should use them sometime Hold up a ring a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff That looks more like a I'm- I can't hold eye contact forever kind of looking away, as opposed to like a... Like a line looking away, right? I know it's painful, <sighs> Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. Had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Ooh, that might be kind of telling then, because the money wasn't taken, but the watch and the ring were. And both of them are tied to the husband, because the ring is a wedding ring. And the watch is from the husband as well. Hmm. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Oh. Hmm. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. 
and they always wore her golden butterfly. Oh. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, Paul, me is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, we gotta be careful with this person here. Right. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? Because I'm the police? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. You're lying. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? I don't know. Why would you? Why would you? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. You care that much that you would lie to the police about this? I don't know, man. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You're lying again. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? You were supposed to go pick up your kid. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. You're you're lying an awful lot, mister. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. That sounds to be the truth. What he's saying. Whoa, this guy, uh, this guy, his head is like moving all around and stuff. I don't know. He could be upset that his wife is dead. 99.4. Huh. Mm. But this guy's been lying a lot so far. Let's just use intuition. I haven't tried using Ask the Community before, and people have been saying that this one will probably help me out more, so I'm gonna try it out right now. Okay. Okay, cool. Everyone doubts. <laughs> Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Not entirely unreasonable. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. <laughs> Do we have anything against that? Do we know he was violent? Oh, yeah, we do. Domestic. That's right. The brooch. Oh, you lied about everything. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Because you've never been willing to tell the truth so far. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair, it drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. 
Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. If someone's repeatedly lying so much, we really should be taking him in. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Oh? Hello? Detective! Every murderer's worst nightmare. The nosy neighbor. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Oh, that's what the... Oh! Uh oh uh oh we gotta hurry up. What's he burning? Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Oh, come on. I thought we could jump that. Ah, uh, do I gotta get close enough to tackle? A sh <laughs> Did he seriously try burning his shoe? Oh, what the hell is that gonna do? We already saw it. Oh my god. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in oh. at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Oh, I cut out really fast. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't know what's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but... She lives in Akersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Mm. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Oh my god, I can't believe he was trying to burn the shoe like that. Was that the pair he was wearing when he came in? Because the work boots... Yeah, those were okay. The Galloway, ones that were... Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, Detective Unit. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? And send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Please board downtown when he's available. Oh, we can't use Got the... KGPL. How about the game well? Isn't that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Isn't he the cop that won the medal Phelps, in the Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go to the coroner first, just in case if we find any extra information that would be useful at the school. Oh my god, that poor kid though. Mom dead, dad locked up. Whether the dad actually did it or not, we're not too sure yet. Although it looks not good. It doesn't look good at all. More. How close is it? Hopefully close. Can we cut through here? Probably don't want to risk it. Just kidding. Why would I not? I guy didn't care. Hell yeah. Shortcuts. Can we keep going? Oh, this is a backyard. It's a... Yeah, it's not a big street. So cutting that way didn't really do me any good. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband, fellas. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. 
I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. All units in the vicinity in any century unit. A 211 and shots fired. 410 South Flower Street. Unit that can handle code 3, identify. Any central unit, a possible 288 at Belmont High School. 1575 West 2nd Street. Oh, what? Stand by for further unit to handle. Identify code 2. The high school? 11K to KGPL. We'll take the 288. Go ahead with the further. Wait. Apprehend lurker. Investigate Belmont... Oh, okay, that's not the street crime, because I just responded to the, the call. I thought it was related to that. I thought we were going to get a street crime at the high school, which surprised me a little bit. Hold on, how far away is the street crime? Where the heck are... We? oh my... It's a little bit away, but I think we can do it if we just drive straight. Yeah, okay. So let's just go. There's a lurker at the high school. Is this time constrained? Hopefully not. We're making a right at the next intersection. This one, right? Straight ahead. It's left at the next intersection. No, not this one. We turned a little bit too early. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All units in the vicinity in any century unit. Two eleven and shots fired. Four ten South Flower Street. Oh. Unit that can handle code three. Identify. This is eleven K. We'll handle the two eleven. Tables are turned now, haven't they, boys? What the hell hey, are they doing? Man, I'm sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. It's a Wild West shootout or something. Ain't gonna last long in a tin Wait. shack. Wait. Where do they go? Are they in the car or. I didn't even see where they went. <laughs> oh! God damn it, they went down there. Wait, why are we chasing these guys and not the guy that was shooting from the store? Was that guy just trying to, like, defend himself? Suit. Well, one of them's dead. Although I'm about to, like, yeah. No? Oh, I think they're leaving. We gotta. gotta go. Oh, yeah, they're totally gone. I can't see. Oh, Jesus! Let's go, let's go! Before the next train comes! Oh! Don't think we could have saved those people. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code 4 here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. I need an ambulance for me. 11K, roger on the ambulance and coroner. All units, 11K reports code 4 on the shooting at 410 South Flower Street, Scott's Garage, code 4. I kind of panicked when I saw the train routes, but I wonder what that would have been like, because would it have been like a crazy shootout while trying to avoid the train coming? That would have been pretty damn good too, but I was a little scared. I didn't want to get hit by a train. Can you drive to this one? Thanks for responding. <laughs> Take us to the coroner. 4 p.m. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Anything we didn't know already? It's not in here. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? 
Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Mm. Oh, ropes. I, I guess it's this one? This one? What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Oh. Ooh, church. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Mm. Oh my god, on that the the scale here. Is that like some organs? Uh why is the phone highlighted? Can we can we get some information on the phone here? Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor's statement. Thank you. Mrs. Hugo Muller? Whoa, hey! eavesdropping you shouldn't do that you should just you're the janitor you don't want to know too much and get killed do you now oh do we want to ride an ambulance women don't find you handsome they should at least find you handy you can drive <laughs> and where exactly are we going the high school you got to be kidding we're driving this yes great how are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Great. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that, coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulse. You have been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. <laughs> well, at least they're getting along better now. 6 p.m. No kids at school. This is the car? Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. Ah! I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before uh. the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now! Hey, you! Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. The scene we saw in the very beginning, before Phelps got the case. I think that was at this location. I was wondering about that, too. Yeah, like, where did the car go and all? Because that location, the park, where we found the body, didn't seem to be that same scene. Now, who is this guy? Hey, help me catch him! Oh, we don't need a car. We don't need a car, I think. Oh, where is he? Right here. Oh. Why is this guy still hanging around when he sees the police coming? I'm gonna get you. Yes, you wait. What's your name? 
Who's asking? The police? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Ah. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Mmm, I don't... He... Yeah, this guy's a horrible man, but he, is he the one who killed the lady, though? He could have very well just picked it up, because we know the lady's car is parked here, so she might have dropped it here. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm gonna take out my gun, and I'm gonna count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. Well, here's the car again. Ah! It's definitely the right car. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Wait, is this not the lady's car? The murderer put the stuff in the lady's car? Or is this somebody else's car? Uh, I think we gotta, like, maybe clues? Yeah! Found in trunk of Deidre Mahler's vehicle. So the guy had access... Oh, I guess that's not too far-fetched, because if he killed her, then he would have been able to access the vehicle very easily. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. I don't think he has a job. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Cool. It's not making the husband look good again. Especially because we didn't know where he was that night. That's it? Okay. Oh, this case seems a bit more... complicated. Yeah, we've been to a lot of... even the crime scenes. This might be the very beginning crime scene and then she got transported over there. Hmm. Here it is. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks for your help. Are we done with the investigation portion, then? There's no more leads. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Great. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Amazing! Stop complaining. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. No, that... Rooney was definitely not a good man, but is he the one who did this, though? Because if we can get him convicted... Holy, what is wrong with that police station? <laughs> the textures! Oh, I guess it always looked like that. You okay. better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Exactly. Exactly. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. I want to make homicide. You know you made it. Let's start with uh, one, two. Let's start with one. Boys, you've really come through this oh. time, haven't you? 
Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. This guy's going in for sure, because if he's actually a child molester, then yeah. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? 48. Male. Alleged child sex offender. You think he has a job? You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? Oh. I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. How long is this gonna take? <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't have any evidence about that. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. Oh! They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Oh! <gasps> Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. HM! <gasps> what? No, I'm not so sure anymore. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I don't want to know. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. That is kind of a strange question. What were you hoping to get from that? Like, I don't... Uh, it's not looking away at all. 99.4? That, that is such a strange question, though. Is that rope special? We know it's for sailors and ministers, but I mean, yeah. Did the Are you saying the killer picked it out on purpose because it's a really robust rope or something? Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. Hmm. 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 <laughs> um, if he stole the jewelry, then I feel like we should have been able to find the ring as well as the watch on him. It doesn't mean he didn't... He's not greedy because he has the butterfly brooch. But... Uh... We don't know where this is. Hey, what size are his shoes? Butterfly brooch. HM. Green overalls. So high up, what the heck? There we go. 99.1? It's probably doubt or lie then. Okay, so in that case, it's probably... I'm guessing it's probably doubt, because we don't have the evidence for it. You have no job, and nowhere to live by the smell of things, and you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. No, oh, of course we're not gonna charge him. No, not yet. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. No, no, you you sit here for now. We're not done with My you money? yet. Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. 
Yeah. The thing he said at the end not, about how he saw another man power. being yeah. there, being all cool and whatever, that sounded like it added up. So I feel like it should be this guy. HM. The overalls are throwing me off a little bit, though. But why would he take out the butterfly brooch on purpose? He threw that one on the ground, but what about the ring and the watch? That's still missing so far. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. I don't know. I don't know. Whenever people say that, I'm not very good at telling those kind of lies. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Is a little bit funny compared to everyone else. 97.3. Because I knew you'd never believe me? That sounds so. Actually, I'm not so sure anymore. Um. Uh. Let, let's ask the community. Really? Truth? Well, he is shifty looking, but yeah, if you- if I think about it with truth in mind, it does look like the kind of like, Oh shit, now I've done it, but not like a- oh crap, I've been caught. Okay, I trust you, community. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. What do you work for? HM? Do you also work for the same company? Marine? Hennessy Marine? Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. So you know about ropes? Uh? 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 <laughs> but there's nothing we can say here that says, Hey! You know about ropes! And you picked that rope Specifically. Yeah, I don't think so. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. What's the purpose of that question? If he actually killed her, you think he's gonna say the type of rope that he was killing her with? He would've just said something else! <gasps> we found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Is it somehow possible that it's that guy's overalls, but this guy did it? Like, oh, oh, oh. You keep them at work? No, 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 we know he's, he's wrong. He's wrong. So this one should be a lie. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. With blood on it? Green overalls, blood stained with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. Th they can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? <laughs> that is kind of weird. Why would he bring back the shoes and then burn them, but not the overalls? Oh, these criminals. Their 200 IQ is too much for me. <laughs> your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Really now? Not even the bloody one that was in the car? I don't think so. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. This guy's lying about literally everything. Everything. Even the other guy, the molester, was more truthful sometimes. What the heck? 
Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tie iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Is that product placement? <laughs> uh, I feel like it's him, but can we... Is there anything else we can do? Is there? Rusty. I say we bust in there and Let's find the goddamn get out of here and we'll discuss outside. Break through the red light. That what do you think, Rusty? Who did it? Uh, is the captain? Oh. What now? For my money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. He does have a lot of experience that we should take into account. It's not just some guy saying whatever. Hold up, though. Uh, is that just talking to Rusty? He's tortured to not a me at the grand okay. jury. Case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Um. Is there anything we can do? Like, I'm just wondering why they let me. Oh, I guess it's to. It's to let me choose who to charge. If I'm coming back in here. Okay, well, I feel like the evidence definitely points towards Hugo Miller, right? Is there anything I'm not considering right now? I don't... I don't know. Well, let's just trust uh, Rusty's expertise on this one, okay? You're saying it's Hugo, right? Advice? No advice? So what next? For my money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Okay. I'm not saying another thing until I've seen an attorney. I thought you wanted to arrest Eli because you thought he deserved to go to jail anyway. Okay, well, I guess, guess we're getting this guy. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried though because this is the first time we have this ability. What if we get the wrong guy? Well, there's nothing else we can do, so... Hugo Muller, I'm charging you with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. With pleasure. H.M.? But what about... I don't know. Is it conclusive? The overalls, Hennessy Marine, Hugo Miller... Shoes? I have to say I'm disappointed. What? I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. <gasps> Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You what? throw it back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! What? Wait, so are you saying it's not the husband? Oh, we missed a clue somewhere, too! While Hugo Mahler stares down a murder charge, Michelle Mahler contemplates life as an orphan. What clue did we miss? I thought we... Oh, I really don't know what clue we missed, because I thought I listened to the... The noise, the music. Three stars! What?! Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? I really don't know! They don't even tell me who did it! What the heck? So was it Eli or not? What? Are you telling me the husband's rabbit blood story was true? But what about the tire iron, and the size 8, and like, everything else? What? If you're gonna tell me I'm wrong, you gotta tell me what's wrong, right? You can't just be like, you're wrong, and close the case like that. Come on. Oh, Shoot.